Josh Goda from North Melbourne has ruptured his ACL. It was just his 12th match in his career and you can see it's really not that big of an incident. He sort of starts to run to defend the ball and he goes down and unfortunately he has done his ACL I guess from the change of movement and we won't see him for the rest of the year. If you don't like hyper extensions, skip this one. Oscar McDonald has gone up for a spoil. He successfully does that, but as he comes down, his leg hyper extends and it looks so brutal. I would not be surprised if this is an ACL or PCL. It's a pretty common injury for something like this, the hyper extension. It's really gross to see, and if you've ever done a hyper extension on your knee before, you know how painful that is and how weak that joint feels. Just quickly before we get to the next one, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, leave a like and leave a comment below. It helps the algorithm and pushes this video out to more people. All right, the next one. Gibkus from Richmond has also done his ACL. This one has been confirmed by the club. And you can just see the way he goes down, his knees pointing inwards almost as he lands. It's pretty gross to see, but that's also a very typical ACL joint where it pops and you just don't have the stability in the knee. Very unfortunate to such a young fella. Let's hope that he can get it right over the off season and come back better next year. Jed McEntee from Port Adelaide Power will be missing next week most likely due to concussion protocols. As you can see he takes a big hit in a marking contest. He goes down, he doesn't move. The camera angles are a little bit funny, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was knocked out. Definitely concussed. I'm sure if he did the scat test, he would be ruled out. Thank God Port did the right thing this time, and he was subbed out. It looks very minor here, but Presti is in the center circle as the ball gets thrown up. And he starts pulling at that right hamstring. And later we find out that he's done a hamstring. So he's going to be out for quite a few weeks with that. He has many soft tissue injuries. Very unfortunate for him. I don't know when we'll see him back. I guess it depends on the severity of the scans that he'll get. He was Nostradamus last week. We asked him about his hamstring from that February 1 interclub. He said, it's not the last hamstring I will do. Unfortunately, another hamstring for him. A second in six weeks. Now the Tigers will probably have to back him off for three or four weeks. So frustrating as he tries to win a new contract. He's certainly good enough. Those hamstrings just are not uh, able to sustain significant periods of football. Tyler Young from Richmond has hit his head on the deck. And as you can see, he wasn't actually taken off straight away. He did play a little bit longer. He eventually went down to the rooms, did the scat test and failed. So he will be out next week due to concussion. Onto the ground, he's a slow-mo. So the doctor did go out to him. He waved the trainer away. So that was the HIO happening on the ground. And then the scat five has happened at half time. So I'm just, ooh, as the footy comes my way. Warner and McCarthy are both going to mark the ball. And unfortunately, Warner's misjudged it and he's hit McCarthy's shoulder and knocked himself out. As you can see, he's down for the count on the ground. Very bad to see. He will also be missing next week due to the 12th day protocol for concussion. There's no doubt he would have failed that. He's clearly knocked out, so he will not be available next week. This one also didn't look like it had too much to it, but as you can see in the marking contest, he does get a push, but it appears that Brennan Cox has also done his hamstring. Depending on the severity of that, from what they find out in the following days will determine how long he's out but I would be very surprised if he's available next week and that's all I have for the injuries this week I apologize if I did miss any these are the injuries that I saw during the week or anything that I could find on the AFL website compressed into one video so if you do like it please do leave a like put a little comment down below it helps the channel out massively and I thank you and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow